Hello friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How's everyone doing today? I'm here today for the hashtag Stash to Treasure, and that is an open collab that is co-hosted by Susan from Susan House Art, Helen from Moss Cottage, Maria from Maria's Miscellany, and myself. So today is oh, January 27th, the third uh, week of crafting, and today is scrapbook paper, paper, collage paper, file folders, and binders. So many choices, right? I hope you're joining in, or if you haven't joined in yet into this into this collab, of course you can craft along with us at home. And uh, if you have a YouTube channel, you can post a video on any of these Fridays and use the prompts. I uh, just uh, link our channels with the at sign, all four of our channels, subscribe to our channels, and um, use the use the hashtag in your title. So and um, you know, leave a comment. Let us know you're new uh, to the collab. We'll pop over and look at your video too. We also, of course, search the hash hashtag to try to find you. And if you're new to us, we will of course subscribe to you. So uh, for the collab this week or for the prompts, what I did was, um, when it said binders, I was like, I was thinking about my book covers that I showed you last week because I forgot I had a binder in there that I was going to show you and it was sitting next to me. I meant to pick it up and show you and I never, after the video, video I realized I didn't pick it up. So <laughs> I had about three, three or four things I didn't pick up and show to you, believe it or not. Believe it or not, I showed you so many, right? <laughs> so I forgot a few. But uh, what it was was a Better Homes and Gardens binder. But uh, it was newer than this. I just wanted to show you an example. It was a regular size uh, Better Homes and Gardens binder, just a newer version than this one. This is an older version. And it, uh, when I brought it home, it was already kind of damaged. So the, the, this part here uh, was lo loose. It didn't have its screw or its over top part, and so the, like the bolts or the screws or whatever holds that on was uh, was gone. And this uh, this uh, the notebook rings right here, the binder rings, were this whole thing was loose. Uh, I don't know remember exactly why I brought it home. I guess I thought I could save it. You know what I mean? So uh, I thought let me go ahead and see if I can do something with that because I had already taken off the spine and um, well I hadn't taken off the whole spine the front part of the spine was already gone it was gone when I brought it home but I took off the the rest of the spine and I took off the uh, notebook rings and that so I just had the two book covers basically in my that I did, forgot to show you last week so uh, this week I was also so I, I wanted to see what I could do with it since binders is one of our prompts and uh, the problem was it, um, you know, it was just, it was big, it's big, you know what I mean? So when you make a journal out of a binder like this, when you open it up, see how your pages are? They're much smaller than the binder because they have to be pulled over from by the rings. And so the, really the pages in here are only... Let me see. These are kind of. Let me measure this one. This one's not uh, loose or anything. Six inches wide. So that's. I like that. I like that width. I can deal with that. I mean, I can deal with wider if I have to. But I thought, oh, if I. So I had taken it apart, and so I basically I would have had to make my pages this. Make a new spine and make my pages this wide. And so if you're making it, you know, like that, uh, your pages are going to be approximately. Oh, I would say seven and a half inches wide. So that's a little bit more, you know, challenging. So, uh, and you're making signatures. So I was like, let me see if I could cut it down in a way where uh, I could keep most of this. But I, I did it. I cut it down and I couldn't keep all of this uh, that was on here and have the size that I needed. So I just went ahead and cut it down <laughs> to the size I needed. I figured I'll just use the pretty red and white background as a little trim piece on here. And uh, that's what I did. So also in the book covers, which I did show you, was this little book cover here. It's a little cookbook, like cardstock cookbook cover. And it's this Sweet Vidalia. 
uh, onions and it has pictured the onions here and I like the colors the blues the greens the golds here and down here it says blue ribbon recipes so I thought this that was so cute I definitely wanted to use that and I wanted to use the the better homes and gardens if I could so that's what I did and so here's the front and you can see I have a little yo-yo here with a button I actually made that yo-yo <laughs> I made a few and I didn't really like making them so I uh, I um, bought some too but uh, I did make a few myself and then here is the spine fabric I tried to pick out something that would go well with the colors and a little I love the gold onions there so and then here's the back the back I covered with see I have green cardstock behind here to you know take off the color of the green right here in the onions so I added this green cardstock. So I also added a piece to the back. Then I added a recipe card here, and it had onions, green onions right there. And this, uh, let me get a piece of something here. I actually left this open here, this little recipe card under the recipe card, not the green part, but the recipe card is a pocket. So I left that open for a pocket, which I will put something in later maybe with a tab that's easy to pull out and so let me show you my signatures I've got three signatures in here you can see in there so pretty and so yeah it looks really good with the three signatures got plenty of pages in there and so uh, what I what I consider this journal is of course it can be a recipe book recipe journal or it can be a journal that happens to be recipe related <laughs> so happens to be recipe themed so I'm not going to do a flip through, it's not done yet, but I just wanted to show you that I've got, you know, all the signatures in here, three signatures. I'm going to sew these in. I've got all kinds of fun papers. Everything's original. Nothing is printed or digital. So I just took from my uh, recipe uh, stash, my cookbook stash, that I've collected for many years. And also I use some pretty scrapbook papers. Let me just show you. I won't do the flip through of that because that's not done yet. I need to put ephemera in there and sew those in. But let me finish showing you the binder for this prompt this week. So I finished out the binder here with some pretty scrapbook papers. You can see the chickens and the roosters here. And there's little chicks. And I thought it looked really pretty with all the colors here. And then you open up and you have the this, um, fa this uh, scrapbook paper really matches all the colors here. And especially this fabric out here and so I have the fabric there of course too and then I um, yeah I just used that scrapbook paper so I used two of the prompts this week uh, the binder and the scrapbook paper oh, I do have a file folder in here let me show you uh, this right here was a bit of a let's see where is it that's not it. it it's in one of these signatures let me find it real quick because it is a file folder. This was a kind of like a file folder or maybe a folder pocket uh, and I cut it down. I cut it down to it was from a scrapbook, scrapbook journal that you buy and make your own scrapbook. So I had found one. I have found a few of those at thrift stores <laughs> over the years and so this was a I guess it, it kind of was like a file folder in that or a file pocket kind of that looked like a folder inside a, that that a binder that scrapbook binder that I had found so I cut it down made it into a page and I might uh, I probably won't maybe I'll leave it as an option but I had it where did I have it right here I think so an option would be I'm going to have it sewn in but an option would be to leave it as a page or whoever gets this could glue it right down here and have a pocket so yeah, that's uh, so I used three of the prompts, kind of the binder, the um, scrapbook paper, and the file folder. So yeah, so I'll be uh, sewing this in. Hopefully, have a flip through for you maybe tomorrow. Uh, I like I did last week. I did the video for today uh, about a week early. So <laughs> during that week before this video publishes, I'll be working on this and hopefully get it done and be able to do a flip through. And uh, so when you see this video, if you're interested, check out my shop because I probably would have already listed it, hopefully, right? 
I don't know. I can't guarantee that, but maybe that's what I do. When I get a, get a journal done, I just go ahead and list it. And then whenever the flip through comes up, I try to do the flip through right away. But um, sometimes it's the next day after I list it. So, you know, busy, busy, busy girl. I have to just get it done. You know what I mean? <laughs> so uh, I'll see you in my next video. Hope, I hope you enjoyed that. Be sure to search this hashtag so you can see what everyone that is participating is doing. Uh, the videos that I've seen have been awesome. Lots of great ideas for each of the prompts and um, lots of uh, lots of fun things that uh, is that are very inspiring and lots of talented artists out there. So yeah, check them out and be sure to check out my co-hosts because they are also very talented. So thank you for watching today and see you next. See you next time and uh, have a great day.